तो हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एआरडी करंट अफेयर्स सो इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड एआरडी करंट न्यूज़ फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड इन टुडे सेशन आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज़ फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई ओनली एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस सेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द अपकमिंग नबार्ड ग्रेड एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन रिलाई ऑन दीस सेशंस फॉर योर एआरडी करंट पार्ट राइट एंड जनरली ए आर डी करेंट पार्ट कोई बहुत ज्यादा नहीं पूछा जाता है मोस्ट ऑफ दी ए आर डी करेंट कंजिस्ट ऑफ बेसिक क्वेश्चन जो कि हम यहाँ पे कवर कर रहे हैं एंड गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स जो कि हम अलग से कवर कर रहे हैं राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद टूडे सेशन गाइज बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव दी ऑल राउंड प्रिपरेशन यू कैन डाउनलोड दी अनुज जिंदल ऐप फ्रॉम योर गूगल प्ले स्टोर एंड एज यू ऑल नो वी हैव लॉन्च अ लाइव class course for nabard rbi ncb and the classes are going on so if you want to ace the examination this year you can join the uh, crash course of nabard as well by going by visiting anujindal.in so let's move ahead to the very first question from today's session which state or ut has started the usage of drone for agricultural purposes as part of its one village one drone initiative very very important question because these days government is promoting the usage of drone in every sector right so under under those interventions there is one initiative which is one village one drone of this state or ut that's actually jammu and kashmir theek hai and jammu and kashmir had has started the usage of drone for agricultural purposes uh, under its initiative which is known as one village one drone initiative right so talking about the news to maine aapko i think sab kuch hi bata diya jammu and kashmir has started the usage of drone for agricultural purposes now every type of agricultural purposes like for example spraying of uh, seeds spraying of insecticides pesticides etc right and uh, it has been done under this initiative which is one village one drone initiative of jammu and kashmir and the trial the trial has been started in kathua district of jammu and kashmir right do you remember the name of the district kathua the very first usage of drone has been started in kathua district of jammu and kashmir all right so therefore the correct answer is what option d jammu and kashmir is the correct answer because that is the ut where the usage of drone has been started for agricultural purposes moving ahead to question number 2 which state government under its rajya fasal rahat yojana has announced that owing to weather irregularities farmers will receive a maximum physical compensation of rupees 20000 on up to 5 acres of land so can you identify this state which state has announced this uh, news so remember this uh, rajya fasal rahat yojana belongs to jharkhand actually the full name is jharkhand rajya fasal rahat yojana right jharkhand rajya fasal rahat yojana is the full name of this scheme and jaisa ki humne question mein pad liya already that owing to the irregularities in the rain the jharkhand government has announced that they are going to give a fiscal compensation of maximum rupees to 20000 up to a land size of 5 hectare uh, right and in case of 30% to 50% loss in case there is a loss of 30% to 50% the farmer will get rupees 3000 per hectare as the fiscal compensation which will amount to uh, 15000 if, if the farmer has 5 hectare land while if the crop loss is more than 50% it is greater than 50% then in that case rupees 4000 per hectare will be provided to the farmer as the fiscal compensation all right so therefore the correct answer is what option c jharkhand jharkhand chief minister is hemant soren party is uh, jharkhand mukti morcha right question number 3 pe aa jate hain which institute of icar indian council of agricultural research has been awarded the sardar patel outstanding icr institution award for the year 2021 and this institution has got this award for the third time right it is indian institute of spices research which is located in koi code right so let's talk about it so it is indian institute of spices research located in koi code so that's that is the institute which has uh, got this award right and the award has been given to the institution for uh its contribution in the research projects right and this award consists of a cash prize of rupees 10 lakh a citation and a plaque and it is given those it is given to those institutes which are doing well in the research areas right and iske liye bahut sari criterias hai 
which is not required for your examination and as i told you that this is the third time that iisr has got this award right so therefore the correct answer is what indian institute of spice research option a is the correct answer क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पे आ जाते हैं विच स्टेट और यूटी गवर्नमेंट इन कोलैबोरेशन विद आई ए आर आई विल प्रोवाइड ट्रेनिंग इन अर्बन फार्मिंग टू दिटीजन फॉर टू पर्पजेस नंबर वन इज फॉर गोइंग फ्रूट वेजिटेबल फॉर देयर यूज एंड एज अ बिजनेस एंटरप्राइज राइट सो दिस अर्बन फार्मिंग ट्रेनिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर डुअल पर्पजेस एक्चुअली द पर्पज इज सिंगल द ग्रोइंग फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल्स बट दे कैन ग्रो दिस फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल फॉर देयर ओन यूज एज वेल एज फॉर द बिजनेस एक्टिविटी right this government is delhi government right this government is delhi government which in collaboration with iari will provide training to the citizens in urban farming and this will be done under an initiative which is known as the smart urban farming initiative of the government of <coughs> delhi right and total 600 entrepreneurship training workshop and 400 awareness program will be uh, organized under this initiative right so therefore The correct answer is what option E Delhi. Question number five. There are total ten questions, guys. Right? Name the variety of paddy introduced in 1982 by Dr. V. Ramachandra Rao, which is fetching higher yield and higher income for farmers of Andhra Pradesh. Now it is in news because because uh, the the result has shown that it it is providing better yield, higher yield, and higher income to the farmers of Andhra Pradesh, and that is why. we are discussing about this variety now the name of this variety is swarna the name is what swarna paddy variety which was uh, introduced by dr v ramchandra rao in the year 1982 the same year in which the nawad was established nawad we established was the 1982 mein if you remember this now this variety has a cultivated area of around 1.6 1.70 lakh hectares in the godavari region एंड इसके अगर फीचर की बात करें सो इट हैज अ टू वीक पीरियड ऑफ डोरमेंसी दो हफ्ते का पीरियड होता है इसका डोरमेंसी का विच अलाउज इट टू विच स्टैंड कोस्टल रेन्स रेन्स दैट को इनसाइड विद हार्वेस्ट एंड रिड्यूस इन सूटू जर्मिनेशन बेसिकली इसका जो डोरमेंसी पीरियड होता है वो कितना होता है दो हफ्ते का होता है इसकी जो रेन को विट स्टैंड करने की कैपेसिटी होती है वो भी ज्यादा होती है राइट right? so therefore and it was in news as i told you because it is fetching higher yield and hence the higher income for the farmers of andhra pradesh right so therefore the correct answer is swarna option c moving ahead to question number 6 in which state the foundation stone for south india's first nano urea plant has been laid so south india ka pehla nano urea plant ban raha hai kaun se state mein ban raha hai so it it is being uh, established yeah it is being constructed in karnataka in which district in bangalore rural in bangalore rural right so foundation stain stone the foundation stone was laid down by chief minister of karnataka basavraj bumai and it is the first nano urea plant of south india right total investment kitni hogi 350 crore rupaye bangalore uh, rural district mein isko banaya ja raha hai and this plant once operational will produce nearly 5 crore bottles per year for farmers in karnataka and in south india as well and the project will be completed the project is targeted to be completed within the upcoming 15 months right so therefore the correct answer is option d karnataka moving ahead to question number 8 government of india has formed a high powered panel to make the msp mechanism more effective and transparent very very important question the panel will consider measures to develop the agricultural marketing system in response to the country's evolving needs in order to assess better value to the farmers who is the chairperson of this committee so basically this committee will give recommendations on how we can make msp more effective and and how it will enhance the income of farmers right so the chairperson of this committee is mr sanjay agarwal option b is the correct answer question number 9 Which of the following organizations has formed a committee to draft regulations and standards for the production of vegan products for the export market as demand for plant based meat alternative grows so you just have to tell the name of this organization which has formed a committee to draft a regulation regarding this issue it is apida 
एग्रीकल्चर एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड एक्सपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी एग्रीकल्चर एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड एक्सपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ अपीडा एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे नेम द वेराइटी ऑफ ओकरा दैट वॉज डेवलप दैट आई सी ए आर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वेजिटेबल रिसर्च विच इज लोकेटेड इन वाराणसी इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड इट इज इन न्यूज अगेन बिकॉज इट इज गिविंग हाई येल्ड टू द फार्मर्स इन दिस रीजन राइट सो द नेम ऑफ दिस वेराइटी इज काशी चमन ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर राइट काशी सब में ही है काशी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग वाराणसी ऑफकोर्स एंड चमन एक्चुअली द नेम ऑफ दिस वेराइटी राइट so that's it for today's session i hope uh, all the questions and their explanations are clear and i will see you in the next session tomorrow with a brand new government scheme from the ministry of rural development goodbye take care and god bless